welcome back. You know, we're nearing the end of this project. This has turned out to be a lot easier project than I thought it was going to be originally. And I do still have to make a hole for a um, grommet. But since I'm out of grommets, I have to go get some. Anyhow, I'm going to take my four prong punch. And as usual, when I'm stitching up to an edge like that, I just hang one prong right off the edge. I come in about an eighth of an inch. Get my sacrificial piece under there. And that's where my stitches are going. Now some people will just go ahead and make a crease here, right where they want it, or a stitch groove, or something like that. This The thread that I use is pretty sturdy stuff. I'm not too worried about it coming apart. And at some point, I'll do another one. Stump is basically going to be my guinea pig to test out a new design on a wallet. I don't personally carry this type of wallet. So, I don't know, I like keeping things minimal. holes went right down to the very edge. Hopefully the other side will do exactly the same. Well, y'all don't need to see me punch holes. You've seen that before. I'll finish punching my holes um, and I'll probably just go ahead and stitch it and then I'll do finish the edges on it. So we'll be back in a little while. Alrighty, ready to start stitching. I'm going to stitch here. There is, this is the last hole that there's two pieces and then we had the one that goes right over the edge. So I'm hoping you can see that okay. We're going to start in this hole, come over the edge, and then back through this hole again. And I know I've covered this before, but it's uh, one of those spots that will receive stress, and I want my thread doubled up there. A little tug. through that hole there we go now I'm going to start from the outside work my way I think I've pretty much covered about everything in stitching videos. And if ever, anybody really wants to see a full out stitching tutorial, I am not. I do things different because I do suffer from arthritis and my fingers just don't move the way. <laughs> the way that uh, I'd like them to sometimes. So rather than alter or altering the way that I stitch, I just stitch the same way every time. You know, you should really not ever let your needles go. 
according to a lot of them. And I can, you know, certainly point out people in directions of some good stitching tutorials that I've seen. But with my arthritis, I just uh, do things a little differently. And it's okay. We're all a little different. So, there's a few stitches. I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. All four of the areas I've already got my threads cut. I'm ready to stitch them away. So, I'll be back after I'm done stitching. All my stitching is done. Wonderful. So far, we're doing really nice. Nice looking wallet. But we're going to take this edge from all ugly. I just did a little sanding on it kind of even things up a little to a nice finished edge like this. That's all I'm going to do. All I've done is sanded it. On this side I applied two coats of edge coat which is edge coat. Don't mind the blue tape that's so I know which one is open. <laughs> um, two coats of edge coat I took some 320 grit and sanded it a bit and reapplied two more coats of edge coat. Um, I think I'm done with it. It looks pretty good. So I'll do the same to this side and then we'll call that done and then all we have left to do is put a, a uh, finish on the leather. So I am going to get my edge coat on here and get that taken care of and then I'll be back when I uh, probably not until tomorrow because I'm going to let all the edge coat dry good. So stay safe and God bless. <laughs>